That was a 69-54 setback. Knocked away, and a steal. And Keegan Murray with the two-hand jam. 99.6 points a game. That's number one in the entire nation. Yep, and uh, just ahead of Gonzaga, number one ranked Gonzaga. Been a nice addition. That shot off the mark for Marlon Ruffin. Another offensive rebound here for James Jean Marie, who's led the team in rebounding each of the first four games, and it leads to a Vikings three point field goal. And he's increased his scoring average already from up 19 points a game from last year, Keegan Murray. Here's the steal. And off the takeaway, the dump off from Bohannon, and the putback by Keegan Murray. Going to go back inside with James Zahn Marie. He comes in top of the team, 10th in the big sky at 15 points a game. And another bucket for Keegan Murray. That mid range game, a big part of his offense. Thomas hanging, scoring, ending a four and a half minute. Ruffin. And Zahn Marie is going to find an outlet and it blocked. That was blocked by Keegan Murray, his team best 15th rejection. Second chance he's gotten a lot stronger. That was a knock on him in the past, as you know, from a straight standpoint, easily opponents were able to. Looking back inside, Connor McCaffrey finding Murray, his jumper good, and Keegan Murray. But this is a team that has seen, as mentioned prior to one of the breaks, they've had 10 that have hit three pointers, they've had 12 take three pointers. On the takeaway, layup goes for Marlon Ruffin. And Portland State shooting 19%. They're within five here as we approach the final minutes of the first half. Murray on the inside, and Keegan Murray, 14 points out, six of eight shooting. Portland State has turned the ball over 13 times. They're shooting 19% from the field. They never had the lead, but they're still in it, 16-9. to nine. Nice follow through by Chris Murray, following his own miss. Thomas the second, Viking with two fouls. Iman being the other. Shot off the mark. And for Tony Perkins, but a reload leads to a three ball. Good hard work by Peyton Sanford, who got the uh, offensive rebound around three Vikings and then kicked it out, and then Ruffin answers at the other end. So here's Portland State with the answer. For Keegan Murray have been three pointers. A force his way inside, shot won't go for Alley. Keegan Murray, here come the Hawkeyes. Four on one, and Keegan Murray takes it down the boulevard and slams it home. Ruffin able to run it down. Good hustle there from Ruffin. And his free throw line jumper goes. It's easy to spot because he's been wearing those glasses since he was in high school. Great looking specs. As that jumper goes. Tony Perkins. 16 for Keegan Murray on 7 of 10 shooting with already 7 rebounds. He had a 27-point, 21 rebound performance earlier this season. And finally, Keegan Murray's the team's leading scorer, the leading rebounder. He shoots 89% from the free throw line. For the fourth time in this game, five. Three ball, book it. In this count, they've hit 32 of the last two games, including a program record 20 last week versus Alabama State. Points off, turnovers are only 13 to 9. Hawkeyes plus 4, but a chance to add to that total right here. Again, I was averaging 99.6 points a game. Just could not find rhythm of their offense to really get any closer than, say, 10 points. Robracha over the lip of the rim. Three point miss for Starks. Two of 15 are the Vikings. And there's a two hand jam down the boulevard for Patrick McCaffrey. This is his sixth rebound. Thomas has eight the lead. The Vikings on the glass. Portland State has out rebounded Iowa 24 23 so far. Rebound here for James Zahn Marie. Tough angle for Murray there, couldn't convert. And the fadeaway goes for Khalid Thomas. Averaging a double-double at 15 points, 10.3 rebounds a game. It's rebounding total of third best in the big sky. Count the bucket and the foul for Khalid Thomas. Right now they've been the aggressors to start this second half. Two shot looking to change that. Abracha using the backboard. Bohanna will flip it back. Keegan Murray 
finishes. Boy, that's a tough shot. That three-pointer won't go for Starks. Three-point shooting has not been a story at all in this game as far as making. Although asking you shall receive a three ball there for Patrick McCaffrey. One of the earliest stories around the Big Ten along with the likes of the Wisconsin Badgers off a great weekend. Right to the bucket goes Joe Toussaint. Great quickness for Toussaint. Found the opening, went right to the basket. Easy rebound for the Hawks. That's four three-point misses and four three-point try for Portland State. How about that floater for Patrick McCaffrey? Central back on November the 16th. McCaffrey again. Again to the bucket and the foul. Missed the opener with playing the last four. Heck of a move, but Toussaint can't finish. For Bracha. Alley goes down. Ian Burke will lay it up off the backboard. Did you ever see a chicken with its head cut off? No, but uh, it flies all over the place. And a dunk again, McCaffrey. Speaking of flying. Chris Murray. Big Sky Conference play Thursday at Idaho State and then at Weber State come next Saturday. Great catch by Bohannon on that tipped pass and Murray affected the shot a little bit. He's 6'8 inside and looked like it was going to be 11. It probably would have if he wouldn't have been bothered by Murray, but just that little change of direction forced the missed shot. 59-34 in favor of the Hawkeyes and Thomas driving kick. Carter the third hits the triple three ball at last for Portland State. Carter the third last year at Long Beach State before that at Washington. Also spent some time at South Dakota State but did not play. Nice second effort. Everybody thinks they they were fighting with each other all the time when they were growing up at Francis. No, they're best buddies. And there's a basket from Michael Carter. Two McCaffrey's are two years apart, but uh, McCaffrey says that Keegan and Chris Murray have always pushed each other. They've always been together. So even though they're both two sets of twins, they're two different sets of twins. Uh, D1 rosters this year. There are twins at Arizona State. Look out below. A one-hand jam for Tony Perkins. Connor McCaffrey sets it up at one end with the steal, and Tony Perkins with the big finish. Portland State gets back nicely. This is Ulis. And a takeaway. Rough it. Zon Marie, Chris Murray getting way up to bring down that rebound. And goes back up, somehow flips mm. over the shoulder and scores. Previous high was 11, which came against NCAA Division III, George Fox. Nice kick. And the three ball, Austin Ash. And his high school holds their school record for most three-point field goals made in a career with 140. A two-hand flush for Khalid Thomas. And again, what, right now they are winning the rebounding battle. They were down in that category by a couple of boards at halftime. They have forced 21 turnovers. A jam for James. Zon Marie at the flex off the hands of Zon Marie. Nice skip pass. Alley hits the triple. Going to work his way inside. You see out there right now is that three ball oh, goes with a non-COVID related illness. And he comes away with the poke. Perkins, the jam! A monster tomahawk slam a jam up for Tony Perkins. Great play. Right now it's a slam dunk contest One. as James Zon Marie with a two-hand stuff. Well, with this win tonight, Iowa will have won 76 of their last 81 non-conference home games going back to 2012. Carver Hawkeye, a tough place to play. So many questions. And now the Big Ten ACC challenge awaits on Monday at Virginia. 85 to 51. Hawkeyes win it.